Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about marginal distributions. Okay, I'm using the same distribution as I did before where we pulled 1,008 people, some males, some females, and asked them whether they were going to watch the Super Bowl game for the game or what they were looking forward to the most for the Super Bowl, for the actual game, for the commercials, or they didn't plan to watch at all. Okay, so marginal distributions, they're very, very easy, but you have to know what to do. Marginal, so you think margins, okay? For every two-way table, you will have two marginal distributions, okay? You'll have two marginal distributions, one for the row variable, categorical variable. This is the row, categorical variables, and this is for the column column categorical variable okay so these are very very simple to do so marginal distributions is basically just a single categorical bar graph a single categorical variable bar graph okay which we've learned before so let's go ahead and do the first one and what this measures is each categorical variable separately. So the first one we'll do the column one which is our sex. So I labeled it. This will be our percent. We're going to do a relative frequency not a frequency. We're not going to use counts. We're going to use percents. Okay so the sexes I'm going to label it and I have two different categories. You either could be a male or you could be a female. I'm, I'm doing the bar graph. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways for each one. You could do the bar graph. So, and all you do is you find out the percent of males. The percent of males. Okay? So if you look at this, this would be the other way. Males. This is table format. Let me make this a little cleaner. Okay, you could do this either way. Let's separate that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, sex. So this could be the sex, could be for both. I have it labeled. So there's other males. How many males are there? There are 492. Out of how many people? 1,008. So that's it. 492 divided by 1,008. So there are about. I put this at 50. That's at 50%. This will be a little bit less than 50%. So make a little bar graph there. That's for your males. Color it in if you want. And for the females, it would just be the complement of that. Okay, the, the rest that leads you up to be 100%. But we'll just get around that by plugging into our calculator, which will be 516 divided by. 1008. Something happened bad. 516 divided by 1008. Should be a little over 50. 51. Okay. And this would be 516. Okay, so that's the marginal distribution for the sex. Okay, for the other variable, this would be for the response. This would be for the response. Let me make this look a little better. Okay, so if you notice here, we have, I'll put response down here. And how many categories do we have? We have three game, we have commercials, and we have won't watch. Let's extend that a little farther. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll put a 50 here. These are in percents. And let's go ahead and do the table, which is response, and we have three. We have game, commercial, 
and we have won't watch. You could do this in a table form. This is the table form. Or we could do it as a bar chart form. Remember, marginal distributions is nothing more than each categorical variable graphed as a bar graph by themselves, not including both. Okay, both would be a side-by-side -side bar chart. We're going to be doing that in the next video. Okay, so let's go here to our calculator. And we're looking at, now we're looking at the row, the row percentages over here. Looking at this one here. Okay, so we're basically asking what percent of everybody will, is watching for the game? So that's 479 over 1008. This would be 237 over 1008. They're the marginal percentages, the marginal fractions. What's going on on the end? So now I'm going to do the first one as a percent. It's like a little less than 50%. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little different here, make it look a little better. Okay, the next one, 237 divided by 1008. Let's go with 23%. I just write them in for now. I'm sure you put the percent there if you're going to do that. And 292 divided by 1008. Get a 28. Let's just go with 29%. Run the uh, this one here. Run that up. So we'll go to just go to twenty nine percent. We'll be safe. Okay. So let's go to my not that guy. It's not here. So twenty eight will be right about there, or twenty three will be right about there. Just going a little less than half that fifty. And the last one, go 28. We'll color them in if you want. Okay, so these are your two choices for the marginals. So don't get confused with marginals. Marginals are very, very simple. All they are are the column percent, or the row percents, or the column percents. That's it. This over this. This over this. This over this this over this and this over this these these correspond these guys over here correspond to your rows and these down here correspond to your columns okay like a column okay well thanks for watching